what is going on everybody it is about the middle of deer season here in oklahoma and we are getting it done today out here working now y'all have already seen me shoot three deer off this front feeder a couple smaller bucks and a, a little yearling and despite my warning on the barrel feeder i'm still getting comments saying that hunting under a feeder is not fair and i want y'all to know i am committed I'm talking dedicated to fair chase deer hunting. So let me show you what we've got going on. We've been out here working all morning. You know, I, I don't want them to get to this feeder without being duly warned. So we've been working on signs. We got them up everywhere. Now, if you're wondering what happens if they come from the other side, well, let me get over and show you real quick. Here we go. All the trails coming from this direction going to the feeder filter through here. So, you know, they've been warned from this direction as well but we didn't stop there now sometimes they come from straight behind the feeder well we've got that taken care of too stuck a sign right up on the tree fair warning would you look at that look at that I have been looking for that arrow. That is the arrow that I shot through that little forked horn buck. That's one of the first prototypes of William Tell's hunting arrow. It's been out here for, I don't know, a month and a half, and it is still in one piece. I am always excited when I get a broadhead back intact. Anyways, we've got this place marked up. So now I'm gonna get out of here, let everything settle down. We'll come back this evening and see if we can bring y'all the world's first fair deer hunt. Well, it's about 2.30 in the evening, but it is not the same day. It is actually about three weeks later. I have been hunting, but I have not seen nothing but bucks since I hung those signs up. I have not seen a slick yet. I had that little forked horn buck he was coming in every day so i got my daughter to slip down here and take care of that problem and the very next time that i come down here a little spike buck showed up he's been coming in a lot so i don't have any buck tags left or antlered tags i have to say antlered and antlerless because if i shoot a button buck after i said doe tag y'all get on to me so i'm looking for a slick i don't really care what sex it is but like I said, I hadn't seen a slick since I hung these signs up. It's been about three weeks, maybe a little longer. I think I've actually stumbled across scientific evidence that females are more intelligent than males. I'll let y'all know if National Geographic calls me. I got the uh, forward limb mini striker. It's upgraded with 150-pound uh, limbs. I was informed that I have not shot a deer with it this year, so... We're going to try to remedy that problem. Like I said, I hadn't been seeing any slicks, but uh, we're nearing the end of season. We only got about a little over two weeks left, so it's all or nothing at this point. Let me get in this blind. I want to show y'all something about William Tell's hunting bolts real quick, and then we'll quiet down and uh, get to hunting. Oh, for Pete's sake, deer hunting is a production these days. It takes me five minutes to get all the cameras set up once I get into the blind or stand or whatever I'm doing. Let me show you something about these arrows. Let's see. William Tell sells these 14-inch hunting bolts for deer hunting. And I shot a deer with this bolt here a while back. It's got the black aluminum insert. And then there's these bolts that are uh, they have a silver aluminum insert. They are exactly the same bolt except a different color same weight everything 100 percent the same so let me get a montec in this sucker we're going to use this one and uh we'll, we're going to get quiet and i don't know just hope something show up i don't have a camera set out so i don't really know what's coming in all i know is that i hadn't seen anything without antlers in a month
I wasn't even paying attention on that one. Sitting here playing with my phone, I looked up and there was a deer standing out there, a little juicy one too. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say, that's 100% fair. I know where to all my signs. Then on top of it, the feeder kicked on, scared her off, and she come back. Let's give her a few minutes and then we'll see if we can find her. It's still early and we may sit here and shoot another one. Well, I went out there because I wondered if my arrow passed all the way through and was laying on the ground somewhere, and I don't see it, so I guess she carried it off with her. I didn't see no blood right there, but I know that's a good shot because I watched the video, so we're going to give her about, I don't know, half hour, and then we'll go see if we can find her. She wasn't very big, so I doubt she went very far. My goodness, it has been more than an hour and a half since I shot that deer. It's starting to get dark. It took me 45 minutes at least just to find the first speck of blood. I, I was starting to panic. I done called in the wife and kids. They're all heading out this way. I finally found some blood and I trailed it right here to the fence. And it really opens up as it goes across the fence. I can't imagine it's too far over there. I called my neighbor and he's giving me the go ahead to retrieve the deer. But I don't like filming on his place. So we're going we're gonna to stop the camera. We're going to ease across the fence. We're gonna get the deer and uh, bring it back. Whew, here's where we're at. I crossed the fence and I followed a blood trail like no other. That deer bled and bled. I thought, yeah, it's opened up. It's gonna be laying just right here. And I followed it for about, I don't know, 100, 100 quarter yards. And it actually left that guy's property and crossed the road onto another neighbor's property. So, I can't get a hold of him. So we're right back where we started. I'm gonna go fetch my stuff, see if I can get a hold of my neighbor. I just refuse to go on their place without calling them first, just touching base. It's supposed to be 24 degrees tonight, so as long as the coyotes don't find that deer, it'll be there in the morning. Let me go fetch my stuff. Get back to the car, we'll regroup, figure out what we're gonna do next. Oh, I finally found it. This little booger right here has caused me some trouble. I bet it ran, golly, I bet it ran a quarter mile. Huh. That was a humdinger shot. I don't know how it made it so far. It don't matter though, we found it. Now I'm gonna see if I can find my people, my wife and son's back there following the blood trail. We're gonna get it drug out of here I promise to take them to a movie. <laughs> there you have it. The world's first fair deer hunt. I appreciate you all watching. We'll think of something else crazy and we'll catch you next time.